Hi, I'm Mike, and right now I'm going to deploy a React app to Heroku and keep my API keys secret. They will be nowhere in the build file, only accessible to someone like me who would purposefully expose it so you can see how uh, the key flows through our app without it being in the build file anywhere. So um, first thing, we're going to do every single step, and I wanted to do this because I was having a hard time uploading my little toy learning projects to GitHub because I wasn't really sure how I was going to keep my API keys secret. And so I, I finally went through the process of figuring out how to do this so that I could actually like, you know, store my code on GitHub and feel okay about it and know that I wasn't exposing my keys every time I wanted to spin up a new project. Okay, so first thing is I'm going to show you uh, this Heroku deploy node. So this is the file structure of this actual deployed app. We've got a client front end, which is just MPX create react app where we made a, we called it client. We did that in this root folder. And we have a server folder with our node file in here. And we make a couple changes to our package. We've got a dot environment file, which has our secret API key in it. And then we've got a git ignore, which tells our git push to ignore this environment file. So essentially, we create our app, we push it to Heroku, it ignores our environmental variables, and then so the deployed act, the app doesn't know our, in our API key. What we do is we go into Heroku in the console and we actually tell our Heroku console what our API key is. And then um, when our server is, is finding that key, it'll find it in the Heroku console. And that's how we can deploy our apps to GitHub, to Heroku, and our API key will never leave our machine. And we, we um, do the actual configuration of the environmental variable in Heroku itself. So the security then comes down to Heroku, <clears throat> keeping your files secure. Okay, so let's get started. Let's go to a new empty repo empty uh, folder. We'll call it video delete me. And let's get our terminal up. First step is uh, initialize. Sorry, I can't read that. I can't either. Okay, initialize. Now, uh, what this does is this created our package JSON in our root. And next thing is, let's create our server file. New folder, call it server. And then let's create a sublime, let's get a uh, editor file open. This is gonna be our server file, index.js. So in our video delete me, inside of server, call this index.js. Okay, now we're going to do a bunch of uh, code. This will be our, our entire server, backend server file. It's going to look like this. So we're going to require express package, path package, dot end package. Um, express is the actual server. <clears throat> dot env is what will look for our environmental variables, either in the dot env file in our project or in the environment that it's running in and that's when it'll find our environmental variables on Heroku. We're defining our port that we're listening on. We're gonna choose 3001 and when it's on Heroku, it'll actually, Heroku will expose it to the web. And then we start our app with our express server. Here we're telling our app to use our build from our client front end. So essentially right here, this block, when we ping this, when this file gets served, if you're pinging anything other, if you're doing anything other than API, basically, so if you're just pinging um, this app, then you're going to get the React front end being served to you. That React front end will call our API extension, and that's where we will return our secret key. Now, normally, you wouldn't be exposing your secret key in the return. Um, you would actually do your API calls using your secret key, and then you would return the results of the API. But I'm just exposing the key itself to show you how it flows through. 
and then we're gonna listen. So this is app listen. And so this is the whole the whole back end. You can make other API extensions and whatnot, um, but we're we're just gonna do this basic, 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 just to show you how it works. Okay, save this. <clears throat> so that's our whole index file. We don't need to come back. And now let's make our client front end. So let's go to terminal. We're gonna do npx create React app client and let that run. Okay, now we've made our client. You can see it here. Uh, we need to do a little cleanup. We need to, it gets initialized with a Git repository. We need to remove it. So we're gonna do cd client and then we're gonna do rm-rf git. So remove that. Okay, now go back to our root, video delete me. All right, um, now we can mess with our package JSON. We need to add a script. We need to add the start script. And this is gonna call our node. It's gonna say, hey node, fire up our server index.js file. Also, we need to define build. This is gonna say, uh, go to go to the client, then do an install of all the requirements, and then build it. I'm gonna add one more piece to this. We're gonna go engines. This is gonna hold our node version. I'm using 16.3, but you can replace it with yours. Do a little comma there. Okay, save our package JSON. All right, so I'm gonna open back our index file. And now I wanna show you the front end Go app.js, open this with Sublime. Okay, so our app front end is going to call the back end. I'm going to import use effect and use state from React. Um, we are going to do use effect we're gonna fetch our API extension and what's gonna happen we're gonna get a result in parentheses in quotes <clears throat> uh, what's gonna happen we're gonna basically call this we're gonna ping this it's gonna return this key that we shouldn't be exposing, but we're choosing to in the message. We could we normally, you know, do your API call using the key, and then return the actual result of that API. But here I am just showing you that I'm actually exposing my key on purpose. But it's nowhere in the build. So then we'll take the result of that, and we'll take the result turn it into JSON, then the, that will be our data. And we're gonna, let's, we'll do a set data. We will say, we have a data variable and we'll do the set data variable, use state. So now, we are setting this variable here, right here with our results. So now we have this data variable that will have the results and we can display it. So we can do P, um, we can say if there's no data, then say loading, otherwise show us the data. Also, I need to do data.message here so that we actually get the call the message key to get the contents. 
Okay, so close our paragraph tag and now save our app file. Oops, I keep showing you what music I'm listening to on accident. Okay, let's get our terminal. All right, um, we've got everything saved. Where are we at in our process? Now let's just run it. Oh, uh, we need to install all of our dependencies. So you noticed we're using express path.env. So we're going to need to install those. So let's do that really quick npm install dot env express path I think that's all we need okay all of our dependencies are installed now we can do npm start and we're listening on port 3001 here's localhost 3001 Okay, no file or directory. Aha, that's because we need to get out of this. We need to actually build. So we need to do npm run build. This will run our build script. See here, we edit defined. Okay, now we've built the React front end so that when we ping our app, it can actually serve up that built file, the built static React front end file. And then that front end file will call this through here and get the message and, and so on. So now we've got um, this will actually, there will be a build file here where I can't find it right now. Uh, so now we can do npm start again. And now it's listening and undefined. So it does not have an environmental variable yet. So let's go to our finder. And if you'll see, we haven't made our environmental variable file or our git ignore file. So let's make both of those. So let's pull up Sublime. I'm going to do a new file. And we will say, what do we call it? My secret fake API key equals secret fake API key one two three four we will save this as we need to save it in our root video delete me and this needs to be our dot env save it and yes use dot env dot env js didn't mean to do that Let's just rename dot env. Good. Now we can do one more, our git ignore. We will ignore dot env files. And then we save this as git ignore. Again, in the root dot git ignore. So now when we push this whole root folder to Heroku, it will ignore the environmental variable. And you will now see it can find our API key. Hit npm start again. Reload. Any second now. Any second now. Interesting. What happened? My secret fake API key, we're doing dot env, finder dot env. Oh, uh, I wonder if, uh-oh, our studio again. <laughs> I need to stop that. Okay, let's open with Sublime. My secret fake API key. So, oh, 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 that's why. We need to just resave. Save as, you know, delete me, dot env. Hopefully it'll actually do it this time. Please use that. Good, dot env. And then delete, move to trash. Okay, now 
proper dot environment file. Oops. Start our server again. It's listening on 3001. Here we go. There's a secret API key. Now we can get to deploying to Heroku. All right, so it's working locally. Right now it's sourcing the API key from the dot environment file. What we want to do is push our folder to Heroku, have it deploy it, and then we will set the secret API key because remember we have a dot git ignore that's in what, ignoring our environment file. The secret API key will never make its way to Heroku. We will set this in the Heroku console. So let's create a new app. Let's call this delete me one and create it. And then the deploy, they have great deploy instructions. I already have the Heroku command line installed, but what you would do is something like, this would be like a global install. Um, let's see, sudo npm i global Heroku. I'm not gonna do that, but you could. Um, instead, I'm gonna go to Heroku login press any key, it'll open a browser. Please log me in. I'm logged in, great. Now I can do, uh, I'm in my folder already, so I can do git init. And then I can add right here, they give you everything you need. I'm gonna add Heroku as a remote for this repository. And now we can push. So now you see here, add, commit, and push. So now let's go git add, git commit, initial commit, and now git push Heroku master. OK, great. Our app is now deployed to Heroku. So let's go find it. Or we can just go here, we can go open app. All right, now Heroku again, this is proving Heroku does not know our environmental variable yet. It doesn't have our secret key. So what we can do is go to settings in our Heroku console, reveal config variables. Here we can, no, we called it uh, my secret fake API key, give it the value we want, we'll call it secret fake API key one, two, three, four. Go add, okay, great. And now we've got our environmental variable added to Heroku. So now back in our app, let's reload it. And this is published. And now we are purposefully accidentally exposing our hidden secret API key. Look at that. So what we would actually do now is, um, well, we never want to expose it like this. <laughs> so make sure that you understand that I am exposing it here in this response message, but you wouldn't actually expose it here. You would just use it and then expose the API's response, not your actual key. Okay, that's it. Now you've deployed to Heroku and you have the opportunity to keep your API key safe. Thank you.